Hello everyone, it's Gigi. Welcome to my channel. I have a tutorial for you guys to today. It is going to be a album flip book. And it's going to be for Decorate Your Life. Let me show you. So we're going to be using this paper here called Cute Honey Bee. And I'm also going to be using this pastel cardstock fabric. I don't have all the colors because I've used most of them. But they remind me of burlap. They're so pretty. Let me just show you a few. There's some pink and yellow. But um, I'll have everything we use um, from the shop linked down in the description box below. I got this idea of this flip book. So if you want to see this one, I did a previous video and I'll have that in the description box as well so you can see um, the page one by one, okay? So I got this idea from Lyric Lover Crafts and she does vintage ones. Uh, I think she calls them journals. And um, so I wanted to make this honeybee one because I thought it'd be so pretty. So we're going to make one similar to the other one. I'm trying to move stuff around. And guys, y'all are going to have to bear with me because this is my first tutorial. So you're going to have to give me just like a little slack. <laughs> so you're going to need four paper bags. And um, let me show you. It does not matter what size paper bags you use because you can do your own measurements and I'll show you how to do that. But these are the ones that I've used. And so, like I said, you're gonna need four. And what I did to speed up the time on this, otherwise, um, cause it's pretty repetitive once you do um, two of them. So I did two pages already and we're gonna do the other two pages together. So this is what we're doing first. Actually, before we do the four paper bags, let me give you the size papers that you need, okay? And like I said, you might have to adjust yours depending on your paper bags. So mine, I needed four pieces across, up and down, five and an eighth by seven. I needed four pieces of five by four and a fourth. I needed four pieces of five by three. And for my inserts, which will go up here in these two slots right here, which would be my pullouts, um, I needed eight pieces of five by seven. And then for your spine, I'm gonna need one six by seven. Okay, so first thing you do is you're going to cut this off right here because you don't want this showing. So you'll go to the um, this line right here, but I think mine were a little bit further. See how mine still hangs out there? So I'm going in a little bit further just to get rid of that. And you cut it off. This is not necessary. Or an extra bag. And you do the same for the next one. So you just go in just a little bit further and cut it down. Okay. So. Then next, after you do that, and you've cut everything down that you need, um, we're gonna move this cutter out of the way. 
And then you're going to want to take your paper bags and you're going to want to fold your flaps and crease with your bone folder. So this is what I mean by that. So this is going to be your flap right here. I was about to say, where's my bone folder? <laughs> so you're gonna wanna take it and fold it up. Let it crease. And then you're gonna use your bone folder and go over that. I hope you can see that good. Crease that really good. It's important. So that's one. And here's your other one. I'm going to twist it up again. And twist it up. And that's why you need your bone folder because it's nice and makes everything nice and straight and smooth. And I do them mine a couple times, obviously. Okay, then uh -oh, what did I do? Oh no, I don't know what I just did. Okay, I think I just messed it up. Okay, we'll have to figure it out. Okay, next, after doing that, you're going to want to do this. Take this flap, get your glue, and what I like to do is take the flap, this part right here, and just glue it down. Yeah, I might have to get my other glue. Because that one's not gonna... Okay, bear with me for a moment. Sorry, guys. Why is this doing this to me? <laughs> I'm trying to get a glue, a thicker glue. Let's see. Oops. Okay. Okay, we got glue. So let me get in frame so you can see. So I just take glue and glue this flap down because you don't need it. And it's just to make everything again smooth. And I just rub my hand over it to help it seal down. And I do that. And just fold that one back up. And do that with the other one. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Just take your glue and glue that one down. And that will be awesome. Okay. Now, I don't want to show you all what I did yet. So we'll skip that. Okay, next you're going to want to figure out how you want to do your layout. So I'm going to end up showing you the paper, how I've done the front so far. The front is not done. I wanted to finish it with you guys. So you're going to want to figure out how you want to do your layout. So these two are going to be my inserts, I decided. This is my front page. 
and it is not finished. But we're gonna finish that together. Okay, now I decided this is gonna be my next, and these are my two inserts that I'll be doing. And this is gonna be on the next page. So I decided that I wanted two pockets here. If you haven't figured it out yet, the pieces that we folded up are pockets. And I'll show you how to make those in a second. But here are my two pockets. They're gonna be folded in on the first one. Then I'm gonna have a solid and then I'll have another pocket. Then we'll fold it over and I'll have a solid. And then I'll have a pocket. And then on the back, it'll be a solid. Okay. So let us get busy with um, gluing things together. We're well, gonna do the inserts um, probably last. So what we wanna do here with this one, let's move that over so it can stay out of the way. We're gonna glue this one down first. But before we glue it down, we are going to edge it with some vintage photo. I like all my things to have edging on it. I think it finishes it out and it's not so stark white. And I'm using Distress Ink Vintage Photo. So we're gonna ink that up real quick. Like so. And I like the way that looks. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and glue this one down. I'm sorry, I'm out of frame. So you're just gonna take some glue. I'm generous with my glue, I know. But hey, my glue. <laughs> I want things to stay. All right, so you center it on up. the way you want it and glue it down. And then now I'm gonna make my pocket. And how you do that is you put some glue here and bring it down. And you do the same thing on the other side. And then you just fold it up and press on both sides. Now I just rub on it for a little bit, hold it down, make sure that seals up. So it'll take a second to grab. And we don't want it coming apart. Okay, and then next, we're gonna ink up this piece, and this piece will go here. So now we'll ink this one up. take our glue okay and then we will put it down and try to even it out everywhere like so and then just push it down like so. Isn't that pretty? 
Okay. So now that page is is done. Next page is um, this one, the back of this one. So we did this one, so now we're gonna do the back. And the back of that is this. So we're gonna ink it up. And it doesn't have to be perfect unless you like perfect. I'm gonna have to get some more vintage photo. It looks like my pad is starting to go dry. I use the heck out of vintage photo. I love the way it looks. That one is good. Now we're gonna glue this one down. My cat is snoring in the background. I think it might be my baby Pluto. Let me see. Yes, it is. <laughs> my little baby. He's not a little. But... I don't know if y'all can hear him snoring. He's doing a little quiet snore. Okay, so you take this one and you glue that down. Okay. So just glue that down. It looks so cute. These are so much fun. Okay. So there's that page, so that page will go, let me turn it the right way, this goes like that. Next, we have this page, and we have these. These are going to go here. So let's ink this one up first. And so you just determine what you want where. And when you're measuring your own, you measure here to here. Like I like to go down a little further so it it doesn't, you know, it doesn't get cut off. So you would measure there, you would measure this piece um, to get your measurements for your bag. Um, but at least you have um, some numbers to go by. Um, because I had to make some adjustments when I did mine from doing the ones from Lyric Lover Crafts. Hers were not correct for my bags. So I had to figure out mine. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not in view. Sorry about that, guys. But I'm just inking up the paper with Vintage Photo. Okay, now we're gonna put some glue on this one. Like so. And we're gonna glue this one down. Ink up this one. <clears throat> Nothing is perfect in the world of crafting, I guess. Okay. 
I'm getting close, I suppose. Okay, I'm gonna do this just like that. Switch out on the view. Here and I forgot to glue it down for you guys, so let me do that. I'll do that last. So I skipped a step. Why'd y'all let me do that? <laughs> okay, so you're gonna take some glue, come down here, like so. Do the same on this side, like so. Fold it up, make a pocket on both sides. Hold it for a minute. Okay. Now we need to put the back on. And the back is going to be this. I love this collection. It is so adorable. You can use it for a baby flip book. You can use it for an everyday flip book. You could even put paper around it, like a little, um, to make it like a little notebook. You can do so many different things. Put photos, just because photos, just for fun, because it's such a cute paper stack, card stock. Oh, and this is 65 pound weight. And you can also get it in digital. Now the fabric, the pastel cardstock fabric, that's in digital only, I believe. But um, I like that you can print it on uh, whatever you want to print it on if you buy it. Because the first one I made, I did it on cream paper. If you go back and look, watch that video, you can see how that came out and a different color paper. I thought that was fun. Okay, now we're gonna, let me make sure it's, okay. Right side up. Don't wanna do that. Mess it up. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I love these bees and cupcakes. So this is the back of the last page. And now what we're gonna do is um, go to the front. And we're going to I was really quick with what confused. Okay, these go here. Right? I don't know. One, two, oh. Hold on, guys. I'm fixing myself. Okay, no, that's not right. That goes there. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to do the inserts, and we are going to use a um, rounder, 
We are going to round them. Let me show you. And we are done with that. No, we're not. We did not edge these. Oh boy. We got more, more stuff to do. Okay, so I'm using my corner rounder. I'm doing a half inch. So you just put the corners in and we're gonna round everything. And this makes it easier to get them down in there. And these are five by sevens. These are gonna go in the first insert pages up front. And then we'll decorate once we get these done. So we're going to ink these up. And then we also have some tabs. And you can use whatever tabs that you have if you want tabs. It's up to you. Or you can create them where they're taller. Or you can just pull them if you don't want to do tabs but I wanted to do tabs. So here are the tabs I created right here. And I use the Stampin' Up tab punch here. I'm not sure what it's called. Okay, that's what I used. So we are going to see what tabs we have here. Let's decide what I wanna use. I'm gonna use this one on this one. So we're going to fold it, whoops, we are going to fold it together, get it right straight. I'm going to use this one on the yellow, and I will use I'm going to use this yellow on the glue. You just fold that one over. Okay, so we are going to glue these down on each side. You need glue on both. And you need to decide if you want to start at the top on this one or the bottom. So we're going to start at the top. This will have to be the second one. You know what? I'm going to do this one on top since I've already got this pulled. So I am going to put the tab here, and this is going to be my first tab. Hope y'all can see that. And I already inked the tabs, so the tabs are already inked. And you know what? I just did not ink this one. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> I thought I inked them both. No, I have not. But it'll take me a second to get this one done. It's all right. Okay, inked. And now we'll do this one. So let's put some glue on both sides. Now, I am not going to do each insert with you because this will take forever, but I wanted to show you how it's done. And so what you do is up top, the bag opens like this. So you would slide one into the first slot, like so. And it just slides in and then you would slide the second one into this second slot. Why is it not going? Uh-oh. Did I cut it wrong? 
don't know. Let's see. Oh, okay. It, it went. So it looks like that. See how that sticks out? Isn't that cute? Okay. So now what we're going to do is the binding. Oh, you know what? Please tell me I didn't mess up. I messed up, guys. Okay, do not do what I did. I think it's fixable. I think I can fix it. Okay, yes, I can fix this. Okay guys, I saved myself. Okay, next we're gonna do the binding. So for the binding, for the one piece for the spine, you need a six by seven piece. And that's this, let me move this stuff out of the way. Okay. So I chose this piece and on the six inch side, you need your scoreboard. Okay, on the six inch side, you are going to score at one inch. At two inch. at three inch, at four inch, and at five inch. Okay. So at every inch you're gonna score on the six inch side. And then you're gonna make an accordion out of it. Like this. Like so. And you're gonna use your bone folder to flatten it out. Okay. I think I got it. I don't know, that looks like it's crooked on this side. Why is it the crooked? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, so you, now you see you have this. Okay, so now you're gonna flip it. Now, you're gonna put glue on all except for the two outside sides. So you're not gonna put glue on this, these two sides, but you're gonna put glue on the rest. So we're gonna do that now. Okay, so glue on the other sides, glue on this side, and glue on this side. Okay, so we got glue everywhere, it's supposed to have glue. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is put two and three and press together. So, this is two, and this is three, I think. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. I don't think this is right. You know what, guys? I think I just did it backwards.
Oh. One, two, and three. Yes, I did. Okay, guys. Um, give me a second. I made a boo boo. I'm sorry, guys. This is my first tutorial. Don't hate me. I'm learning to. We're going to fix it. I think. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, I might have to do just another piece. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Okay. Let's try again. Because I put glue on all this. I could have swore it was like this. No kidding again. So, except on the outside. So, it would be... Like this. Okay, so two and three, two and three press together. And then these two, which would be two and three press together, press together four and five. And then you have you have this, and this is not right. I did it backwards. See, I don't understand. I tried to do it the other way, and it wouldn't work. Very confusing. This is what the binding is supposed to look like. Maybe I did do it right. Okay, guys. So you have one, two, three, four. And this is what you're supposed to have. Four pieces of binding. Okay? So this is what you do. With your first one, you're going to do glue. So you're going to take the outermost one and you're going to put glue on it on both sides. Okay? Because this is going to go in side the um, gusset of the paper right here like so. And uh, we want to slide it in. I really hope I'm doing this right. Okay. And we want to move it around real quick. Make sure we got it right. And we don't. Okay, and we're going to squeeze it down, press, 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 it looks like there's extra up top, I might have to snip, so that's one, it looks like, okay, Page two. We are going to add the glue. Wet glue. glue. Wet glue is the best. Do it again. We're going to do it to this side. And to the opposite side. Okay. 
And then, and I'm sorry I confused you guys if I did. I really apologize. Like I said, it's my first tutorial. I'm trying to do my best. But I figured it out, and I did it before I made y'all mess up. Okay, and then we're going to push down. Get that in there. You want it in the gusset. And you want to line it up. Because you want everything to be straight. Okay, that's number two. Now we're going page three. Page three, we're going to glue this up really well. Because we want it to stay. We're going to glue up number three. We want it to stay. We're going to put it in a gusset. So this is page three, gusset three. I can't wait to do the front with you guys. It's going to be a lot happier than this thing just try to kill me. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. Hmm. Okay, so that's page three, and now we're on our last page, page four. So now we're going to finish with this last piece right here, and we're going to glue it on up, and glue the opposite side, like so. I need to find my lace. I have to take that lace off. Oh, I see it. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to put number four in, in the gusset, like so, push up the gusset, push down the gusset, here we go, page number four, push that down, okay guys? that down really good. And look at your spine. It came out right, except for right here. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put some ink on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, look. Okay, so now here is the front and I don't know where okay, there. we are going to put some lace down because I had lace down but I had to pull it up because I thought it would mess it up but it wouldn't have messed it up so we're going to do it again so we're going to put some lace down right here on this side which is where I had it so let's figure out how much I need Need about right. We're gonna cut this much and take it off, and we're gonna put it on. I love doing lace. I think lace makes it so pretty. It adds. Uh, dimension. You gotta lift up my flower. But don't break it. Come on, lift it up. You guys have to lift up again. Okay. Okay, got my lace back down. is awesome. Now, there were some, actually that doesn't look bad, so that's fine. Okay, so I did this one flower. I think it turned out so pretty. Uh, let me show y'all what 
I used to make those flowers. I used this rustic sunflower set and I used the second and the third largest. Okay. And I have some out and I'm gonna show you how I made them in case you're interested. And these are gonna go on there. And um, we're gonna do some ephemera and we're gonna do this. And then we'll be finished. But I thought I would let y'all see how I do it real quick. It's not going to be real quick, but it'll be quick. So I take my flowers first. I use some milled lavender. And that's what I stamped it out in, but I stamped it a couple times to get the color dark. So I just went in and I gave it some extra milled lavender and I start in the center and I work my way out. And this is how I add color to my flowers. Okay, so that was the large one. And this is the smaller one. Well, actually that was the medium and this is the small. Cause I didn't use the large one. It was way too big for this project. Okay, and then I used fossilized amber for the center, which is not necessary because, um, well, I just do it because I, I like it done. Um, but anyways, here's the fossilized amber y'all can see and I hope I wasn't out of frame and I just go in like that like that and I'm finished with the fossilized amber completely finished okay next I come in with my tool I start here I work my way in and I do that and why is it doing that why is it still doing that it's never done that. Okay, I'm completely confused right now. What is happening? Okay, well anyways, I'm just gonna show you what I do. I don't know why it's discoloring my paper. Um, this is how I do my flowers. I go out and then I come in. I go out and then I come in. And I do that on all of my petals until I reach the last one. And then I do my center. And I do not know why it's darkening. There was something wrong with this thing. And then I would do the same thing with the little one. And they would come out like these. And then on the inside of these ones, I used prills. And they look like this. And they're called prills. And this one that I use is espresso yourself. Okay, so I just wanted to do a demonstration really quick so that you knew how to do what I was doing. Now we're going to put the flowers on with some leaves because it needs some more flowers and it needs some leaves, some greenery in its life. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna put a leaf right there. Okay, we're gonna put our flowers on. Pretty. These are so fun. I love these flip books. 
they are fun to create. I think they come out so pretty. Then we're gonna take this little honeybee sign and I put some dimensionals on the back. And then I used some vintage photo around the edges. And we are going to put this on here too. Try to get these strings off. And we're gonna put that right here. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. So, next, what I would do if I were you, I used two tags. I picked two different tags. And this time I used these two. So I used the Impression Obsession tag with reinforcements and the Scrap Diva Design Scallop tag set. And then I used some twine that I had got from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, whichever one, TJ Maxx, and some from um, Hobby Lobby. This one is called Ivory Gold, and this one also from Hobby Lobby called Bejeweled Sequin Gold. And I inked them up, and what I'm going to do, look how pretty. Isn't that pretty? Is I'm gonna put those in each pocket, like so. Isn't that cute? So you can do journaling or whatever you wanna do. And it looks so pretty when they hang out too. And then when you finish these up here, you'll have a whole row of beautiful tabs also hanging out. I got strings still. Um, but this is what you can make. Isn't that fabulous? So you use the cute honeybee and the pastel cardstock fabric from the Decorate Your Life store. And I want you to come to our Facebook group and show us what you make. Okay, guys, thanks for hanging with me. I love you guys. Bye.